The Kissing Booth, official trailer, official trailer, official trailer, Netflix. Let's go. Elle, let's go. We're gonna be late for school. <gasps> Ninth grade pants and 11th grade body. Perfect. I'm Elle, and that's my best friend, Lee. Oh, is that the wrong color? Oh. We've been besties since the day we were born. How have we stayed so close? We have a set of rules. Like rule number two, never tell anyone else our secrets. Or rule number nine, Lee's older brother Flynn, he's stupid hot, but totally off limits. When did you get the boobs? Oh, and rule number 10, <laughs> never ever break rule number nine. What an ass. I know. You got a little bit of drool right there in the corner. Right here? Yeah, yeah, Do I really? Yeah, you're... Ah. <laughs> okay, the student council is expecting our idea for the fundraiser today. Kissing booth! Would Flynn be working in the kissing booth? Absolutely! Flynn will be there, I promise. Flynn's still doing the booth. So, will you work the kissing booth? Absolutely not. That's awesome. You have zero experience with guys. You've never even had a boyfriend. Whatever. Maybe we should How about a ride? Where's your car? What? I'm not gonna get on that thing like one of your makeout girls. They don't all make out with me. Okay, so like 95% of them make out with me. It's too late for us to turn back now. And we know we're never slowing down. I think you gotta text. I'll see who it's it is. Okay, I got it. Why is it from a boy? I decided I had to see you. Here I was thinking I was just your brother's annoying best friend. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Is there something going on between you two? Nobody can know. At least until I tell Lee. For me, there was nothing more important than following the rules. But in life... Step right up, ladies and gentlemen! You can either follow the rules or follow your heart. Just need to get your laundry. All uh, right, come in. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. Don't forget, we're going out on Saturday, and I invited the Evanses. Do me a favor, be sweet to Elle. She kind of has a crush on you. Ooh. No. <laughs> it's bad. OK, oh my gosh, this is so stupid. It's like, this is, OK, it's a, it's a, it's a time-tested sort of concept that has done well, poor cow, but has done well for lots of years, you know, young teenage girls mostly, I think, really like this concept of, like, falling in love with your best friend's brother or someone that they don't want you to fall in love with because it would be hurtful to them. And acting like, oh, it's true love. It's your one true love. You're, this is your soulmate. It's the perfect match. It just happens to be the person who's going to destroy your other relationships that you care about. You know? Okay, and like, I mean, I think, I mean, it kind of like even goes back to Romeo and Juliet, but it's so stupid. I mean, in Romeo and Juliet, Sure, being in love with each other upset their families, but I think there's a difference between upsetting your families because you can't choose your families and they're just gonna be annoying and stupid no matter what, and you can choose your friends. And so I feel like you have more of a responsibility, honestly, to your friends than your family because you chose them and you are supposed to be, to be there for them and to be a good friend to them otherwise there's no reason for them to be friends with you and 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 yeah so it's because okay it just makes no sense that uh out of all the people on the earth the one person you're meant to be with is this person who's who's going who falling in love with this person is going to really hurt your best friend and and that's no I d don't believe that that's ridiculous okay there's someone else out there for you okay <laughs> you don't need to destroy your friendship for a romantic relationship oh that cow um it's so stupid I mean and it's just it, 
people just like the idea. I mean, and it happens in real life that people, you know, will fall in love with, like, their best friend's ex or their best friend's even current boyfriend or girlfriend or their best friend's brother or mother or father or sister or whatever and they are like well it's it's okay because this one person just happened to be the only person that I'm meant to be with forever just, uh, it doesn't make any sense out of all the people in the world it has to be this person it's 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 just that people are like obsessed with like the forbidden fruit like right I mean that's it's just, it goes back to Adam and Eve. They just want the stuff that they're not supposed to have. And so they make up this ridiculous delusion in their head about how this is their soulmate. And it's stupid. It, it, it's not. It's not your soulmate. You don't have to hurt people to be with your soulmate. You don't have to hurt your friends to be with your soulmate. And... It's just people being delusional and ridiculous. And this, this uh, movie is, like, just being very supportive of that delusion. It's so stupid. I really hate it. I hate this. Um, and then she was even talking at the end though about how, oh, it's about, it, you know, sometimes you have to break the rules <laughs> to live life. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's fine to break rules if it doesn't hurt anyone, but some rules are there because you're not supposed to hurt people and they keep you from hurting people those rules were there so that she wouldn't hurt her best friend it's not okay to break the rules that are there for a good reason it's 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 okay to break the rules that are stupid but some rules are not okay and okay i mean oh it's so stupid i hate it this is so ridiculous it's so annoying but i do remember like okay a couple of years ago that movie what was it edge of 17 came out and i had the exact same problem with it because i mean but that was different and i think that okay so with that movie i actually did end up watching it on a plane just because i was bored even though in the trailer, you know, the, the entire concept is basically based around, like, this girl's best friend falls in love with her brother and she has to kind of learn to let them be together. And the movie actually turned out to be really good because it did kind of talk about how, yeah, sometimes your friends are not going to be that great, honestly. And so you need to kind of, you don't have to, like, necessarily give up your relationships with your friends who are not your friends like the best friends ever you can still have them as friends but kind of keep them at arm's length and in their place you can find newer better friends and that's basically what she did she found a boyfriend who was much more which a much better friend than her actual her, her old best friend actual best friend was and, and so she was able to kind of like keep a relationship with her old best friend while not being as attached to her because she had found someone better than her best friend who was not perfect, who was not, wasn't great. Not even not just not perfect, but was kind of awful. <laughs> um, but, you know. And so that's kind of what that movie was about and it turned out to be actually really good and I liked it. But this movie is from the opposite perspective. It's not from the friend's perspective, whose who's best friend is basically, you know, if, breaking the rules and, and, and falling in love with their, their sibling. This is from the perspective of the best friend who's falling in love with the sibling, so I think it's probably going to be very much in support of that. It, it obviously is. So, I, that, I just hate it. I think it's so stupid. I hate it. I'm not watching it. <laughs> okay, let me know what you think down below. <laughs> I have very strong feelings about this, but you can like and subscribe if you want. Um, I mostly do reactions and reviews on this channel, and um, thank you for watching. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.